I'm sorry. Uh, can you listen to Melina? Because I can't. No? Jorge, I'm giving you the microphone. Melina, make sure your microphone it is... Uh, welcome, Jorge. Go ahead, please. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Armando, you have the microphone. Then Geraldine, as well as Erica, Luis Angel, Diana Guadalupe Ramirez, Nadia Villegas, Nadia Sasueta, and Gaby Soto. Go ahead, Nadia Sasueta, you have the microphone on. And Maria Fernanda, all of you have the microphone. Remember, if you don't use it, mute it, please. Go ahead. Geraldine, you go ahead, please. I don't know why it stopped giving you the control. But, uh, Maria Fernanda, you have the microphone on. Use it, please, or mute it. Veronica, I'm giving you the microphone. If you don't use it, mute it. Maria Fernanda, we are waiting for you. <laughs> okay. Some kid, two kids, uh, or two, one or two kids, we're saying something. They're not afraid of the microphone. Okay, guys, we have the microphone except um, Geraldine that says that she has some. No, Melina has problems with the microphone. But all of you have the microphone, so please unmute it and tell us something. Say something, please. Melina, you can't either. Oops. I'll give it to you again. Let's see what happens. Maria Fernanda, you had a microphone. Why don't you say, say something, please? I'm listening. I'm waiting for you. Yerald, did you say? Uh, yes. yes, go ahead. Um, I. Yes, my dear Fernanda, go ahead, please. I can hear. It's breaking up a lot. Can you hear me? Yes. Maria Fernanda? Hello. Hello. Teacher, I can't hear anything. Mm. Well, I'm listening to Maria Fernanda. Who's listening to Maria Fernanda? No one? Okay, thank you, Luis Angel. Geraldine, Mayra, Nadia, Armando. Armando, you're not. Okay. Hmm, something's wrong. Hey guys, why don't you ask Santa Claus for a, a new microphone or a new headset? And please tell him to give it to you in advance before Christmas is here. For next week. Okay. Well, uh, my Fernanda has a microphone on. You can use it or please mute it. Okay, guys, now can you see the, the, my PowerPoint on, on the screen? 
Erica, I don't know, something's wrong with your microphone. Maybe it is in the, in the wrong uh, plug, in the, in the wrong hole for the microphone. Okay, excellent. Good, thank you. Okay, guys, let's start. Number one, thank you all for, for, for being here. Go ahead, somebody wants to use a microphone. Yeraldin, you had your uh, hand raised, and you had a microphone, I guess. It is now well plugged, connected. I don't know why. In my screen, it is it is okay, no problems. All of you had the microphone on, and all of you have muted your microphone, except Maria Fernanda. Could you please mute it? Maria Fernanda? Okay, Jorge, you can use the microphone. Armando, you can use the microphone. Erika, problems. Luis Angel, you have a microphone. Diana Guadalupe. Uh, yeah. Where can I do that? I don't see the... Continue, please. Okay, something is wrong with your microphone. Okay, guys, let's go to the next slide. Can you see? Can you see that slide? I can't see the. the... Okay, too wise. Diana, thank you. You agree with me. I mean, you support my disappointment and sadness. I'm going to tell you why. But do you have any ideas why? Armando, go ahead. You had the microphone open. Veronica, you too. Okay, teacher, maybe because because we don't have a, a good answer about our exercise in what we share, maybe. Okay, maybe. Because, well, especially me, I don't have a, a response by my students because in the school we have some problems with the internet. And uh, we work in a, in an area here in Culiacán where they don't have enough money. So most of them tell me, teacher, I don't have money to go to the internet. So I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have the response that I want to have with this activity. So maybe you can be sad with that. Hmm. You close. I'm not mad at anyone in the special. I'm mad at, ev at everyone as a group. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. But first, let's listen to Armando. You want to say something, Armando? Go ahead, please. Yes, can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, talking about myself, uh, I think I didn't follow instructions appropriately. Uh, Many. I think you need to do things better. You had to tell us several times. Uh, things were not, were not right, and it, it was for all of us, uh, especially me. You helped me, teacher, but I didn't do things how I supposed to. Okay, Armando, if you're listening to me, I listen to you well, but some of your inmates uh, asked you to speak a little bit louder. You can use it again if you want it. Okay, yes, Armando, you're right. We spent almost an hour and a half having problems, technical problems, but... I know you did it. Finally, you did it. As well as, I guess, Jaciel, Gaby Soto, and Nadia Valenzuela, Villegas, sorry. I have Nadia V. It was half done. As well as Nadia Sueta, half done. Melina, half done. Mayra Rojas was half done. Veronica was half done. I don't know if in, in the last 30 minutes you updated your blog, but guys, I'm going to tell you why I'm in, I am sad and disappointed. I guess my English is not, my written English is not so good. It's too bad because nobody understood my message. And I'm disappointed because I send you, I send you messages to your email accounts and also as an announcement. Yes, this is exactly what I posted in, in the forum. It was only one activity in the week. So, 
You did it. The first, the first part you did it. You went to Wall Witcher and, and get an account. Got an account. Then I asked you to build, build the wall. Most, most of you did it, except a few of you didn't. And it says, make sure you give your wall a name, a name according to what you want to use it for. Armando had a different name. He corrected it. Yes, but I guess Armando doesn't have any students, or I don't know why uh, the illusion's name. You have, Armando, why do you change the, the name? I mean, for example, if I, if I uh, give uh, the, the wall a name, for example, Course one, Centro Idiomas, uh, from 1 to 2 p.m., my students will be glad to be, uh, they will think, oh, this is especially designed for us. That's great. Yes, okay. So, number one, you didn't give it a, a name, most of you. And uh, the next one is that, I'm so sorry, but uh, you embedded your, your wall, yes? But it says, tell your students to do an assignment in your wall on Monday, preferably. Okay? I, I, I left uh, the, the forum Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even today. And it was the same. I guess only two or three followed the instructions. I'm, I'm not sure who did it. I'm sorry. But I'm sure that... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Who posted, who designed the wall with the, the book, the movie about the book? It was uh, something about, I don't know exactly the name. Sorry, sorry, Cedric. It's, it's because I have only two. Manic, thank you, Melina. It was you. Thank you. Okay. Manic McGee. Actually, I, I downloaded, I mean, I downloaded the, the full movie from YouTube and planning to watch it after this conference is over. It's interesting. I haven't read the book. Well, anyway, so as I said, just two or three of you followed my instructions. And the rest of you, I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to be a little bit rude, but you need to take a reading comprehension course in English. Do you agree? Silence. Thank you, Luis Angel. Okay, guys, it is time to be honest. Who doesn't have students? Who is not working in a classroom, in a real classroom, face-to-face, -face, online, or blended? Gabby, they don't know how to read. Well, Gabby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't take it bad. Don't take it as a, uh, it's not, I don't want to be rude, but you can use your voice, Gabby. I know you can speak, and I know you're not sick, so you can, in, in, in the world, you can ask your students with your voice, even in Spanish. Hey, guys, I want you to watch this exercise, do this exercise, etc., and you can have your students leave you a voice message. So, the level is not that, that exactly uh, what I should call, what I call an excuse. I'm sorry. Gabby, don't get mad at me. That's my opinion. You can use a microphone and tell me if I'm wrong or maybe I'm saying something bad. I don't know. Use the microphone, Gabby. Actually, I really lied to you. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, thank you. Yes. Um, hi. Uh, I don't take it uh, personal or in a bad way. Uh, just a question. Uh, if I use my voice how they can answer or how they are they going to post something on my wall okay any ideas thank you gabby and i like your voice honestly you have a beautiful okay. voice and i guess you receive <laughs> love your voice thank you okay guys do you <laughs> thank for, you for gabby you're welcome it is true Geraldine. What do you mean for mothers, Geraldine? <laughs> Can I 
I speak? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Geraldine. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm um, answering about Gavi situation, but I think that with poor kids, it's hard to ask them to do a task like this because it's not they're not going to do it. Their mothers or their fathers are going to answer that. So, well, it could be. I don't know. Maybe. But in my personal um, situation, I couldn't to ask to my students because my uh, boss, my directly boss, told me that I can't because they, not not all of them have a computer. So he uh, just she didn't allow me to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what about the answer for uh, Gabby? And could you speak a little bit louder? Because I, I listen well, but. Nadia Villegas is not listening to you well. She's asking you to speak a little bit louder. Okay. I'm trying to speak as loud as I can, but I don't know why. But right. um, I'm telling that, okay, that um, Gabby's situation about the kindergarten kids or preschoolers, and I, I don't know how they can do it. Um, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm thinking if I let a homework for a, a kindergarten like that, uh, is they're not going to make it, and their mothers or their fathers are going to do it. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Please, an answer for Gabby. I have the answer, but I want you to participate. This is your conference. This is your session. Sir, can I talk? Yes, go ahead, please, Jorge. I have the almost the same situation that uh, was Nadia. Mm, Gabi Soto. But I I have almost, okay, I have almost the same situation. I only have four students, and they are a kid like a, one of them is six six years old, the other is eight years old, and I I ask them to do it, but they 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 didn't do it. As I I think uh, they could. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Hey guys, remember the best way to learn is by contributing. We need to share you we must share our ideas. I gave the microphone to three of you who were asking for the microphone. Sorry, I was not paying attention to the bottom of the screen, but I gave the microphone. It was Veronica and go ahead, please, Nadia Villegas or Armando. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, well, maybe I think that if Gabriela uh, ha has a student of uh, kindergarten, maybe the activities it has to be easier. Maybe uh, ask about the colors or the shapes or the animal. Example: What is your favorite animal? And of course, that that the kid. I need the help of their parents, so I think that maybe it's uh, to give to them homework, easier homework. I think that maybe that is a good answer for her. Okay, thank you, thank you. Nadia? Yes, continue if you want it, please. Or mute the microphone, the microphone please. I do agree with you, but uh, let me give you my answer, Gabby. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, but does anybody know? Uh, does anybody know about the Voki? All of you. Can I upload my students' voice into a Voki? Yes. Okay. One of you, I don't remember exactly who was, but one of you embedded an activity from EducaPlay. It was difficult to do it because the screen was too small, but you, you saw it, yes? You can do the same. You can record, yeah, Hasiel, thank you, Melina. You can record your students' voice. For example, you can ask your students a question in Spanish if you want it, but ask your students to say the answer uh, using English. 
even if they are preschool, so you can say, okay, tell me about the colors, so tell me about the words you know, etc. So you can use your students' voices, you record your voices, and then you go to Boki, and in your account, yes, I said, I guess I said almost the same last week. You record your students' voice, you design a Boki, and you upload your students' voice, and then you paste uh, the embedding code from the Boki in the wall. It is possible. As Casiel did it with EducaPlay, EducaPlay uh, has a, a, a really big screen. I'm not sure, but it's about 600 or maybe 800 megapixels, half of the screen of, on the, in the laptop. Yes? Voki is about, I'm not sure, but it's about 200 megapixels and 400 megapixels the height. So you can design something at Voki and then embed it in your wall. Any disagreements about this? Armando, go ahead, you have the microphone. Armando, you have the microphone on. Use it, please, or you can mute it. So somebody, another one, may use it. Nadia Villegas, you have the microphone again because you were asking for the microphone. Armando, if you, you don't need that microphone, can you please mute it? Oops, can you listen to me? Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, <laughs> you, we, cannot, like, we cannot listen to you, Armando. Something is wrong with your microphone. Erika, you have a question? Okay, guys. So, you can embed a lot of things at, in your wall. From Voki, from Maduka Play, from YouTube etc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead, Melina. Teacher? Mm -hmm. um, I think what we're talking about, the, the wall wisher and whatever, but about kindergarten students, I think we are mostly, or we were mostly thinking that the wall is like for homework for students, and maybe that could be true for older students, but I think that the wall can be used for kindergarten students or low elementary students, even in classes, right? Technically speaking, I mean, because if they cannot use uh, the, the wall or what? How, what? What do you mean? Mm, no, I mean that for students that are really young, like kindergarten students that actually can to do it alone at their house, that we can use it as a tool in class, not just for giving them homework. And that would also get them involved in the, in the wall mm, with our help. And then we wouldn't have to depend on parents or, or what they could do on their, on their own. Okay, yes, I definitely agree with you. Yeah, but as uh, who said mamas, it was you, Ma Ma Melanie, no? Geraldine? Let's go to the chat. I can't find it. Geraldo did. Uh huh. Yes, Geraldo, you did. Geraldo. Yeah, moms can yeah. help as well as that. I know, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just giving you ideas to use. Remember, this is my opinion. My very personal opinion. If I use technology in the classroom, it's not exactly mm, using technology inside four walls. It is outside. It is the classroom, yes, but as an assignment. Or not exactly to use it in the classroom. Mm, I guess students from Senda have uh, siblings with a really, really powerful um, cell phone, an iPhone, iPads, 
they can they can do it yes and i'm not sure about you but i have a nephew yes and he's only two years and a half and he's an expert using technology yes he cannot he, he cannot read he cannot write but he can speak and he gives me a lot of messages of course not it's not only him yes it is his mom or his dad helping him but the point is that most students nowadays are able to use yes your son for example Melina, they are able to use technology better than adults yes and when i'm saying adults i'm saying i'm talking about people like me not like you because you are young people so any other excuse thank you veronica i'm not mad yes but for me having technology I know I agree with you, Erica, not everyone has access to technology. However, if you ask your students, they, they may say, tell you, teacher, I don't have money to go to the internet, but they have money to go to the tiendita and play uh, maquinitas, video games. Yes, and they spend, I'm sure that more than 20 pesos a day playing video games. And how much is an hour using the internet? But anyway, I'm trying to give you ideas how to use technology yes for example for me using a wall in my blog is like buying a mercedes Benz. yes i don't know a lamborghini and have it in my garage okay read what luis angel wrote students with blackberries or smartphones not even teachers we don't have the money to buy in a smartphone well a smartphone is something like a, a Nokia, Samsung, any, any mm, last generation's cell phones. Yes, those are smartphones. Not exactly the, the, the brand name, but not everyone has a BlackBerry. Yes. And I agree with Erica. Interesting subjects. Yes. Okay. And you can give, you can uh, offer them an extra points, two extra points, and some of your students will not do it. Okay, guys. So, remember, if you have the technology and you're not paying, for, you're not paying for it. You have the blog, you have the wall. You are not paying. Yes. Imagine if you are paying for a small place, a, a small virtual place. I guess we need to pay and sometimes we need to pay in order to use it. But anyway, let's continue with this. Okay, you did this last part, yes? You read, except a few of you, yes, it was about the good points, yes, but also kind of a kind of suggestion, how to make it better, you did it, you did it, and I, I'm, I agree with, most of you okay anyone of you want to use the microphone this is actually the the actual post in in forum a and when i was rewriting this in in the powerpoint i noticed i had an, an a uh, mistake and spell a spelling mistake in assignment the one in yellow okay so any comments promises commitments i'm all ears veronica go ahead oh, teacher i want to say something i feel so so sad because it's the first year that I teach you right here near to my house and, and most of my students don't have uh, access to the internet. And unfortunately, the, we have uh, Aula de Medios in our school, mm -hmm. but unfortunately the, the internet is violent. So I feel so bad because they, oh God, why in this moment that I want to try this kind of activity with my learners, but I don't know, I feel sad, I feel sad because if you see any of my students can talk nothing, uh, 
Cassandra has in his house, in his house um, access to internet, but uh, I, was, I, I was waiting for her to make the activity, she what to do it, but she can connect. Because they, oh, teacher, so sorry. I went to my grandmother. I can do it. Yes, yeah, I feel so bad, so bad because it's the first time that I apply this kind of uh, activity with them. And oh no, I said, oh God, why won't you do? But teacher, I promise that we're going to try to to apply this kind of activity with them. Also, I'm going to engage men with the use of that technology. How? I don't know. I, I know that most of them don't have enough money, but like you say, if, if they have money to buy an attendee, why not to, uh, to, uh, to keep two, two pesos each day and maybe on Saturday they can go to the internet one hour and make something uh, of that or, or use the technology or make an assessment, an assessment in, in, in a well wisher. I promise I'm going to try to do it. How? I don't know, but I promise we want to do it. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? I'm expecting to listen to all of you. Jorge, go ahead. You have your raised hand. Your hand raised, sorry. Yes, teacher. In my case, uh, I think uh, I'm going to try to make my students more interested in this kind of technology. I think they are more interested in this moment in the in the chat in the Facebook all this all that kind of of uh, new technology. But I think it could be uh, make them more interested in this kind of technology. I will try this week. I promise. Okay. Facebook. You mentioned Facebook. How old are your students? Armando, use the microphone. Armando, you had the microphone on, but we cannot listen to you. Maybe you have problems, technical problems with the microphone, Armando. Okay, in the meantime, yes, Ivan, go ahead. Could you uh, speak a bit a little louder? Uh, I just I just want to add something. Uh, I'm live uh, almost in La Sierra, in Sinaloa Municipio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we barely have the mega cable internet. Okay. So uh, in the school that where I teach, uh, the encyclopedia. The, the technology from the system is so dusty, we cannot use the screen, we cannot use it. So it's hard for me. What I'm doing right now, I'm taking my laptop, my laptop, I download the videos to my laptop, and go, I'm teaching right now kindergarten, okay? So I download everything on my laptop and put the videos, like Boki, I did it once with my kindergarten student, and, and it goes very well, so I'm, I'm doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all, that's okay, all. Okay, thank you. Could you, were you able to listen to Ivan? I was able, but some of you were asking him to speak a little bit louder. Okay, thank you, Melina. Okay, yes, not really, Mayra. Okay, before I forget, Jorge said something about Facebook. And I'm asking Jorge and everyone this little simple question. How many of you are teaching middle high school? How many of you are teaching high school? Because you gave me the answer. And most of you have students under 18. Am I wrong? Your students are under 18, aren't they? Middle school, both, okay? So, 
if they can use Facebook, why don't you design a course? Okay, thank you, Erica. Why don't you, uh, if you have a Facebook Facebook account, you can have a group in your Facebook account. Yes, you can make a group, and then you can add your students, and in that. Uh, Facebook you can also share the link with your students if your students are really uh, hooked into chatting and using Facebook I guess not chatting but Facebook yes especially chatting at Facebook I don't know why but nowadays young people prefer to chat at Facebook than using the messenger the messenger and the email is hello go ahead Armando hello yes go ahead can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. I think. Okay, teacher. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but uh, I'm going to make a commitment. I'm teaching junior high school. I'm going to make a commitment. Uh, I was having trouble with wall wisher at the beginning, uh, but to try and use the technology in my classroom. Honestly, I don't know why I, I suffered so much this week that I couldn't do things. I don't know why. Uh, but I promise during the week I will, I will do something in my classroom. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Anyone else? Ivan, go ahead. Please speak a little bit louder. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can, but... Uh, teacher? Yes. Yes, yes, everybody can hear me? No? Not yet. I don't know, but I'm using the, per the, the perfect choice. I don't know if the perfect the, the, the headset is the problem. Mm. Um, right now, I'm teaching at the Centro de Idiomas de la UAS, Extensión Sinaloa de Leiva. Uh huh. And um, I, I, I did a page on the Facebook, like you say, and I'm uploading all the things that we're doing right now in this course, like Boki, the Educa Play, and, uh, and the World Reacher. So they are studying uh, in the Facebook uh, with the thing we're doing right now with the tech. So it works pretty good for me. So I'm doing that right now. Uh, that's all. Okay, thank you. So, okay. Ivan, what I understood is that you paste the link of uh, Voki, World Wisher, and all the activities. Am I wrong? Facebook and then just go and watch it. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it's what they do. They learn. They learn from them. Okay. One suggestion for you and for everyone: instead of pasting okay. the link or the URL of the activities, when you paste the link for the blog, so they can go to the blog and they can use all the activities you have. Now they now you you should you should have a bookie and you do I guess. It, it, you have a new a new blog, yes, and I saw you had the Voki and the World Witcher. You're missing the Educa Play, and also you can upload. Remember, I guess I sent you all of you a website called Slideboom, where you can upload your powerpoints, and then you can embed your powerpoints into your blog. The idea is that you can uh, you post your link. Yes, of the blog at Facebook. Yes, you post a link at the uh, your blog at Facebook, and then students would be able to would be able to do everything. Yes, but use both Facebook and your blog. The idea of using everything in the blog is that when students are in uh, Facebook, for example, if I'm using Facebook at this moment, yes, if I have. A new message. I forget what I have on the on the on the front page, and I go and read the message. Yes. So your students get distract, distracted when they are at Facebook, but if your students are in the blog, I guess they won't get distracted. Veronica, you have the microphone. Go ahead, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, I do that. What you say about Facebook um, in the afternoon when I when I was in a, in a Facebook. I found a girl with, uh, 
who was my student last year, last year and I asked him for her to, to do the activity in, in, in the floor. And um, I paste uh, the um, URL in, in, his, in his Facebook. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she had the opportunity to do the activity, but, uh, but I post the, the link into his uh, Muro. Yeah, the wall. And as, uh, I don't know, if, uh -huh, in a wall. I don't know if she do or not, but because I go to the supermarket, but, but I post it, I do it. Uh, um, but tomorrow or maybe tonight, I'm going to check if she, if she do or not. But I do it. I put, I use the, the link and I put it in her Facebook. Okay, thank you. Yes, as Veronica said, you can ask your students even, not exactly your students in this term, you can ask your students, the ones who were your students. The idea is that they use the blog. You don't know exactly if they did or they didn't. Yes, why? Because you don't have any razor or any tools to razor at unless you ask your students to tell you about that or to paste or post a comment in the blog. It is possible to do it, but they need to get an account in order to post a comment. But anyway, the idea is to use that tool. It is free, let's use it. That's my, my suggestion for everyone, my recommendation. Okay, guys, so I'm still mad. How often do you check your email inbox? Okay, Geraldine, everyone, you should, I remember I told you that in the face-to-face -face meeting, okay, Gabby, I don't have a library, but I check my email every day, and then you have more advantages than every one of us, Blackberry, thank you, okay. Why am I asking you this? Because when I paste an announcement, you get the announcement, yeah, your personal email, every day. Thank you, Melina. Yes, when, you, when I paste an announcement in the course, in the platform, you get uh, something like, I don't know, you get a message in your email inbox telling you that you have an announcement in your, in the, in your account, yes? And also, Another question. I told you I told you guys you must check your email every day, once a day, at least once a day. And also you must check the announcement sections at least one a day. This course is almost over, but I guess your teachers do the same. Nadia Villegas, I don't know why, because uh, I didn't receive anything that... I would say, for example, two announce two notices from the email about this guy, Jesus, I don't know, Jesus something, but he's not in the course anymore. He was only the first week. And another one with problems is a student, I uh, can't remember his name. But it only was only two people, but not you. So, I use the email you have in the uh, course. Teacher. Hey, Melina, yes. I think, well, I, I thought that I was having the same problem as, as Nadia and Erica about the emails from the live session. But then I noticed that they actually, they were in the, like, non-wanted mails, which do not appear right when you open your your email account you have to look for them especially in that, that little file about the the non wanted or the non unknown or something like that the no deseado correos yeah and and i hadn't noticed that they were there so maybe that's the problem mm, thank you yes you're right you may be right i mean you're right sometimes uh this kind of uh announcements go into the junk mail or the spam Correo no deseado, when you have it in Spanish. Well, you should check there. 
spam. Uh -huh. Okay, and how many of you clean your email inbox a week, every every week? Last Tuesday, I had a student complaining to me at Centro Yomas. He said, teacher, you never answer my emails. And I said, I do. And he said, no, 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 teacher. Let's go to Cali. Cali is something like a centro, aula de medios, centro recursos. No, uh, centro de computo, Cali. Yes, so we went into the computer room and I opened my email and I showed him, yes, that I have sent about seven different answers last week. And then he opened his mail and he had 13,657 uh, mails in, in, in the inbox. I said, hey, you need to check this. You need to clean this, your inbox. Yes, oh my God. So they go in line and it's difficult to get the message exactly the time I sent it. But anyway, so please clean your inbox. You papelera, reciclaje, whatever you have. Yes. Well. What happened if we don't do that? If we don't clean it? What happened exactly? Because I have a lot of, of email receive it. Okay, I'm going to call your ears. Veronica, for everyone. Okay, let me tell you this in Spanish. It's going to be a little bit faster and better. Cuando no limpian su, su bandeja de entrada, Los correos que van llegando están haciendo línea, fila, cola. Entonces, el último que llega está en el lugar 11,275. Manda otros cinco y quedan en el lugar 11,280. Y así van quedando ya en la cola. Entonces, los que van llegando primero son los que, pues, no sé, tres, cuatro días anticipado, etcétera, etcétera. That's the reason you must clean your inbox. Any... Disagreements? Erika is going, going to sleep now. Okay, Erika is now online again. Problems, technical problems. Okay, guys, I'm still mad. You have an assignment for homework as a punishment. It's not a joke. Do me a favor, please. I pasted the URL of my blog. Could you please take a minute and go watch at the bottom of my blog what a voice thread is? And in the meantime, I'm going to go and see who's knocking at the door. Only one minute, and I'll be back.
Okay, I'm sorry. Can you can you hear me? Thank you. Did you read Mayra Rojas question? Mayra, yes. You have at least two days for students to participate. So go I want you to go in the we can go study the tool, do something. Yes, until Tuesday, Melina. Do something, and then you can, from Monday, you can tell your students. Thank you, Erica. And I posted uh, a tutorial in the announcement section how to embed videos from YouTube. You can do it. Everyone can do it. Okay, guys, VoiceThread is a wonderful tool. If you really liked the wall wisher, yes, VoiceThread is a lot better. But I would like you to, for example, for Monday, you're going to have an activity in the VoiceThread. I'm going to paste the VoiceThread. I'm going to embed a VoiceThread in, in the blog. Yes, asking you for some questions. Not exactly the question you listen to in my blog about web tools yes but i'm going to ask you a question and i'm going to ask you to give me you answer by speaking using your voice you can answer an a voice thread you can answer using your voice or you can use a video or also you can type you can write your answer but the idea is to listen to you to your voice okay philemon this is almost over why so late? Mm, Mayra, I won't do it. I won't do it today, tonight. Yes, I'll do it on Sunday around 10 p.m. So you, you don't have too much homework. Your assignment for homework is to go and start a voice thread, play with the tool. Yes? And let me give you a, uh, an example. It's not my, my voice thread, but it is a good one. I'm pasting the URL. This is a voice thread for someone, a teacher, I guess. You can go and watch that to give you an idea. And as this, I can give you many examples. Thank you, Erica. It's a good tool, and again, it's free 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 and wonderful to use it in the classroom but not exactly in the face-to-face -face classroom as an assignment as assignments get the students out of the classroom Philemon, it's not possible to get the sound only the sound when you are logging you can you can listen but you were not logged sorry that is a big 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 lie better than pinocchio's it is not possible to get the sound without being logged into that session, Philemon. So sorry. Okay, guys. Any questions? Any complaints? I have a doubt. Yes, go. When you say about the, the wall wisher, my students have to have to have an account to participate in my wall wisher. No, no. They can post using their names. If they double click on an, at anonymous, they can paste their names. They don't need to have an account. Or also, when they give the assign, give the, the when they paste an answer, they can write their names that way you're gonna see if your students are uh participate or not thank you teacher okay any other questions no Okay, guys, make me forget my disappointment and my sadness. Go and do something 
really, really spectacular, academically speaking, with voice read. And I will forget my disappointment and my sadness. Is that okay with you? I want to work with that. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's okay, Diana Guadalupe. Yes, I wish you all luck. Guys, I'm giving you the tools for the, for the school of the future. Thank you, Erika. I am counting on it. You have the chance to, to be better paid teachers. When you use technology, you get more money, more money than the other people, than the other teachers. Okay, thank you, Armando. I know you will, all of you. You have a reason. Uh, thank you for your, your, the knowledge that you share with us. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. My idea is, when you know something, if you wanna make it, uh, how can I say? I'm sorry, but I was thinking in Spanish. Para gestionar el conocimiento. Sorry, I'm using Spanish, it's necessary. Para gestionar el conocimiento, conocimiento hay que compartirlo. El conocimiento no es propio. El conocimiento se va fincando, se va construyendo a partir de todos los que nos rean. Es nuestras, lo que les mencionaba hace poco, PLE, Personal Learning Environments. ¿Sí? Ahora ya una red, ya no un, term, un entorno, sino una red. Estamos aprendiendo todos, hay que compartir el conocimiento. ¿Sí? Si el conocimiento no lo compartimos, además de ser egoístas, no nos va a servir de nada. ¿Sí? A mí me fascina eh, estar compartiendo todo lo que yo sé. A veces yo cometo el error y trato de animar a, a mis alumnos diciéndoles, jóvenes, ustedes deben de saber más que yo. yo voy, el próximo enero 31, si Dios quiere, voy a cumplir 60 años. ¿Cuántos tienen ustedes? Supérenme. ¿Sí? Van a ver la gran diferencia. Así que hay que compartir con los conocimientos, jóvenes. Lo que aprendan, compártanlo. And that is the best way to learn. Yes? I love sharing what I know. That's what I said. It is so sad that we have only eight weeks. Thank you, Veronica, but it's true. It is only eight weeks. It's not enough, not enough to share all that I know. I use technology in my classroom. You can visit me at Centro Idiomas. I'm at Centro Idiomas from 12 to 6 p.m. And you can see that I almost never use technology in the classroom, I mean, inside the walls. But I leave assignments for, with, to my students using technology. For example, now they have an assignment because uh, they were absent yesterday and they didn't do homework. But I almost never assign homework for, home, for the weekend. Yes, but now they have an assignment. They must do something we saw in class using technology. At least, at least uh, PowerPoint. But I'm telling them and I'm teaching them how to use new tools. Yes? Next week, I'm going to tell you a better, a better, a better tool. I mean, talking about Wall Wisher, Voki, EducaPlay, VoiceThread. I'll tell you about a better one. Not the best one, because we have many, many, many. Time is not enough. Okay, guys. If you don't have any questions, I. I think it is time to stop this online live session. Okay, guys. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you all. The clapping is not for me. It's for you. Thank you, Erika. You too have a relaxing weekend. Every one of you. Have a good night. Relax. And remember, you have an assignment. Okay, I'm gonna count to three and then I'll finish this session. Good night, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. One, two, three. Bye bye.